All right. Everybody likes a good breakup story, so I'm going to give y'all my breakup story. All right, so like a year, year and a half ago, you know, I was going through a lot of different things in my life, and I just decided that it's time to start breaking up with some stuff. So I started stopped, started to break up with negativity, uh, the people in my life who weren't helping build me up and didn't want to see my good. Uh, I stopped talking to myself in a negative manner. I stopped... Uh, doing things that could take away my career or, you know, affect me as a father in a negative way. And I also stopped telling myself that God couldn't bless me in certain ways. And it's so easy to live a self-defeating life and to talk to yourself in such a negative manner that you never allow yourself to, you know, go outside of your comfort zone and stretch your capacity for growth and to be blessed the way God designed you to be blessed. And that's why, you know, I named this breakup story because so many people have so many things in their life that they hold on so tight to that they end up suffocating themselves because they don't realize that when you let go of certain stuff, it allows you the capacity to receive the blessings that God has for you. So I encourage each of you to evaluate the things that you say because words have power, the people around you because people around you should be building you up. And one more point on the people around you. Everybody always talks about loyalty. Loyalty does two things. Loyalty promotes and it protects. So if anyone is loyal to you, they'll never let you do something that's going to be detrimental to you in the future. So think about the things in your life. Think about the things that you say, the actions that you do, your reactions and the people that are around you so that you can better yourself. So there are things that you need to break up with. There are things that you need to say, you know what? I'm no longer going to be a part of this. This is not fruitful uh, for my purpose and what God has for me. And yes, it's difficult, but you will never lose anything. You will never lose anything that you cannot live without. So hope you all are doing well. Most important, let God work.